So about one year ago, guys, uh, it was thought that Roblox was going to be coming onto the PS4 and now the PS5. Uh, and this was exciting for a lot of players, uh, as I'm sure lots of you own a PlayStation and probably have to play on mobile, which you don't want to do and just rather play on PlayStation. Uh. So this was a huge change for Roblox. Uh, but then uh, a couple of days ago, uh, uh, we got some news that Sony blocked Roblox from launching on PlayStation due to concerns over child safety. And this was posted from RBX News. And it's from this article right here. And if you just read through it, it just details the concerns that uh, Sony has for Roblox uh, with their rules over child safety. And if you've been on the Roblox platform a little bit, I think you can understand where this concern has come from, as there's some unpleasing experiences on Roblox that you can find not too difficultly. And uh, Roblox hasn't really done anything about that. And there's a lot of really nasty players on Roblox as well. And I think Sony just didn't want to be tied to that. So I made a lot of people mad and kind of sad because now uh, Roblox uh, that was said to be coming on PlayStation wasn't anymore. And people just have to stick to playing on mobile or not playing Roblox at all, which is really sucks. Uh. Here's even a tweet from the Roblox YouTuber Creecraft. He says, uh, RIP, it looks like Roblox isn't coming to PlayStation and him soon and doesn't look promising for Switch version either since Roblox has all these concerns over child safety, which they haven't been able to address. But then Sony kind of threw us a curveball because actually while I'm recording this video just a couple hours ago, Sony released this. Sony wants uh, Roblox on the PlayStation despite uh, child safety concerns. Now, this is a bit weird because just a couple days ago, they were saying how they didn't want Roblox on the PlayStation. And I guess with all the complaints they were getting from Roblox users that really wanted it on the PlayStation, they saw how big of an impact it was having. So they just decided to uh, bring it to, to the PlayStation consoles. Now, I do not know when this is going into effect, but hopefully it's coming in the next coming of months. And it also says in this article here that other platforms like Nintendo haven't commented on Roblox's lack of availability on Switch, but console makers have historically erred on the side of caution, keeping inappropriate content away from kids. So it just shows how PlayStation, even though uh, these concerns are very evident on the Roblox platform, they're still willing to accept uh, all these like liability uh, concerns uh, just to have Roblox on the platform. And now we're just waiting on Nintendo and what they're going to do and if they're going to bring Roblox to the Switch or not. But then we even got some more news this week. It's not only uh, the console, the PlayStation, want to have Roblox on their platform, but also uh, uh, the Meta Quest uh, VR headset. Uh, so if you don't know what VR is, uh, to break down really simply, it's just virtual reality where you can look around in 3D space uh, with these cool goggles and then you have some like artificial hands. Uh, now I'm sure lots of you have many questions like hasn't VR been on the Roblox platform for already like tons of years? And it has, but how uh, VR has been done on Roblox uh, is usually you would connect the cable from the MetaQuest uh, VR headset to your computer and you could do this with really any headset i think valve has one and there's a couple more like oculus and you just connect it through your computer which just simulates it as vr but metaquest actually has their own kind of library of games you can buy it's kind of like its own computer in the headset and in this library they decided to add roblox so we can even see here, here's a Roblox uh, forum post uh, and they're just talking about uh, how they're excited to bring uh, Roblox to MetaQuest. Uh, if you scroll down, now there's even gonna be a new device type uh, in Roblox Studio, which you can click and it just says VR, uh, which is pretty cool. So it shows how Roblox is kind of adapting with even more consoles uh, and bringing more people to the Roblox platform. Uh. 
and this will obviously make the VR experiences much more enjoyable and less hassle to set up because when you would want to play VR on Roblox, you would have to go through this whole setup of connecting the headset through a USB and you wouldn't even be able to move around that much. But now you can do this completely wirelessly through uh, the MetaQuest library, which is pretty cool. So that's a bit of a recap for Roblox and platforms they're engaging with this week. And I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you guys later. Peace.